there are great similarities in the genomes of coronaviruses in the uh, family coronavirinae. However, obviously, then there are differences. This is evident given that some coronaviruses uh, only infect, say, invertebrates like insects. Others infect uh, certain species, but not others. In the viruses which infect humans, some cause the common cold, while others uh, are deadly. So, what is it that makes one coronavirus different from another? One cause of differences is uh, differences in the sequence. And so some sequences may be, say, 96% similar. But those differences might cause, say, a spike protein to interact with the ACE receptor on one species but not another. Or this might cause uh, one spike protein to react with a different receptor. So, for example, in coronaviruses in humans, not all react with the ACE2 receptor. Viral proteins can vary in where the host enzymes split them to create different types of fragments uh, involved in the fusion to the host cell. In addition to sequence uh, differences, there can be differences in the proteins made. So in the coronavirus genome, the first two-thirds of it contain two open reading frames which code for two polyproteins. But these polyproteins then autocleave themselves and break into pieces into separate proteins. Now, these are referred to as the non-structural proteins, NSPs, which vary from the S, E, M, and N proteins in the last third of the genome. These NSPs then um, can perform a variety of functions, some uh, functioning in the transcriptase um, and replicase uh, aspects, some have a transmembrane domain and thus can cross uh, the membrane of, say, uh, the endoplasmic uh, reticulum or Golgi. Um, some have uh, an editing capability, which is why the genome of coronaviruses being a single-stranded RNA can be actually so long because uh, they can proofread as opposed uh, to um, most RNA viruses. This would say be NSP14. Uh, there are uh, other aspects such as a helicase function, unwinding uh, the uh, double-stranded RNA, which uh, forms uh, briefly, and uh, so there's a variety of uh, functions. That being said, not all of these NSPs have to be present in each coronaviruses. Uh, there are differences. In addition to the NSP proteins, uh, there are as small RNA molecules, which are regulatory stabilizing uh, replication, SL1 and SL2 and 3. Um, in the final third of the uh, uh, coronavirus genome, uh, there can be additional open reading frames which code for proteins other than the S, E, M and N proteins. So there are accessory proteins made from this area, from the open reading frames 3, 6, 7A, 7B, 8, and 9B. Um, but these can vary from coronavirus to uh, coronavirus. For example, the hemagglutinin esterase uh, protein is produced by some coronaviruses and not others. Many of these uh, proteins, their functions are not uh, known at all or not fully known. Some may actually uh, perform more than one uh, function. Many of them have implications in host specificity and virulence. So, for example, macrophages, a human immune cell, should be able to identify double-stranded RNA of a virus and fight against it, mount an immune defense. But one of the NSPs seems to uh, dampen that 
And so one of the reasons uh, that this uh, member of the family, not one that infects humans, uh, is virulent, uh, is that it seems uh, to be able uh, to suppress one of the host responses. And so there are, in addition to sequence variations, there are variations in the non-structural proteins and accessory proteins uh, which coronavirus genomes encode.